solar panels are 100% worth it if you get this one thing right. And it's the thing that no one talks about it like this. Very, very few YouTube channels frame the ROI on solar panels this way. And it's straight up this. If you are able to finance your solar power, solar panel, and battery build out, finance it for a flat rate monthly payment, less than what you currently spend on electricity and on gas, if you drive a gas powered vehicle and are switching to electric, then boom, it's a monthly savings. You're able to produce and create a monthly savings from month one and stop obsessing about payback period or ROI over the long run. Every like the calculations where people say that, oh, you need all the money up front and you're just handing the tens of thousands of dollars over to the installer and then buying the thing. That's not how it works, not how it has to work. If you take how much you're spending on electricity and how much you're spending on gas, how much you're just spending on energy that then you can get from the solar panels, you're able to finance that for a fixed long-term rate less than you spend over here, then you're simply it's like a personal finance decision. It's more about solar panels, is more about personal finance and budgeting than it is about anything else. I also mentioned batteries on purpose because to have the best experience with solar panels and to have it be worth it the most, in addition to financing for a flat rate below what you currently pay, get the batteries so that you can take advantage of time of use pricing. That's how you build in the savings. That's how you build in the ROI. Everyone's obsessed and gets sticker shocked about the price of the batteries and they don't think about how your utility company charges you more money during that peak period in the late afternoon, early afternoon. And, and that is when your house will be running off of the battery okay and then the other thing is to build enough solar panels so that it takes up your entire roof a lot of sales people will start from the perspective of oh send me your bill and then we'll see how we can create that same amount of energy production from your panels no flip that entire script around start with the size of your roof and say you want max fit solar you want every inch covered because then there's ways to monetize your surplus energy and you don't know the future of your house you might get a pool you might get a second electric vehicle you might increase your family size you might build an office in the backyard that uses electricity you might do all these other things so you, when you want to do a big build out really big from the start and you're able to monetize your surplus by either selling it back to the utility being a part of virtual power plants, selling to a community choice aggregator, mining Bitcoin, selling it to your neighbor. There's smart home solutions that are coming up with how to monetize your surplus energy better. Electric vehicles are gonna get better at charging with only your surplus available. So you're just kind of dripping surplus to your car, dripping to your car, dripping to your car. That's the future of where smart homes are going. And so for you to have your solar panels be worth it the most, Flat rate finance, below what you currently spend for energy, get batteries, build it out as big as you can.